Hello everyone, I'm here with another pick a card. And this topic is what are your enemies currently thinking about? When they look at you, when they think about you, when they possibly are giving you kind of the evil eye, like what, what are they thinking? What are enemies are currently thinking about you right now? We're going to start off with a six of wands, okay, for a pile of one, two of wands for a pile of two, four of wands for a pile of three, and the queen of wands for a pile of four. Meditate, take as many seconds, minutes, hours as you need, okay, come back, um, uh, whenever you're ready, all right? And the time steps are below. Enjoy and comment below after your reading. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> oh, <coughs> y'all about to um, have a moment where you have the floor to say something, okay? Like front row, center stage. But pal one, if you... Uh, chose pal one. Uh, you chose the six of wands. Um, the reason for my my little pause there was I was I was getting a sense that it might be best for you guys to practice public speaking because you might be in a you might have the opportunity or moment to receive rewards trophies certifications, accolades, and you know, when people, when you receive trophies and shit in front of people, usually people want you to do a speech, right? So you might want to get into public speaking or something like that, because it's something about how you're meant to be in front of people, speaking to people, all right, uh, pal, pal one, and pal one, the thoughts of your enemies, let's get into it. your thoughts of your enemies is like, they thought that you were always going to be alone, <laughs> They thought you were always going to be alone. They thought that you were always going to have no support. No one was ever going to fucking support you. Your dream is nothing but a dream. And it would never come into reality. You know. You can never put your dreams into fruition. Your, your enemies thought that, you know, your dreams were like... They thought that your dreams would never make an impact, okay? They thought that what you wanted to do in life would never actually fucking happen. That you would never, like, succeed or make your goals, okay? Like, people thought that you was... Uh, uh, oh, my God. I heard people thought that you were always going to be ugly, okay? People might have jokes on your physical appearances. It's like some of you guys here, or a lot of you guys here, actually, let me correct myself. Um, has a gift, right? And people possibly thought that you can never monetize off your gift. Your enemies thought that your gifts was not going to take you far, all right? It's like they thought that you was going to be always like a gifted peasant. It's like, yeah, you have gifts, but you're not going to make money off of it. You're not going to make money off of it. You're just going to be broke. But what they don't see is that people are going to start paying for your services, Okay. Or if they're not paying for your services, people are going to kind of like congratulate or just give accolades to your gifts and talents. Like people are going to start noticing you, okay? Your enemies saw that you were, that you were always going to be hidden, okay? That no one would ever see you or your gifts or talents. So your enemies think you're never going to make it, basically. But if you guys are in this moment of glow up, your enemies are like, what the beep? I thought that pile one was never going to make it. I heard you, uh, wow, and I heard you did it all by yourself. With no support. Because your enemies knew that you didn't have support. And they knew that that's what was stopping you. Or they thought. They thought that since you had lack of support from other people, they assumed that you would not be successful at all, ever, because of that. But it's like, you did it anyway, even without the support that you would have liked. You still did it anyway. They think you have the key to success, but you don't know how to utilize it. It's like at one point they knew that you're built for success, but you don't know how to be successful, if that makes sense. That, that was their thoughts. It was like, yeah, you have all that it takes, but you're not. it's not going to happen anyway. 
They basically saw you in your own way, basically. Like, power ones that were going to make it because they're always in their way, like, shh. And that's why I'm not going to support power one anyway, you know. It possibly gave you fake ass support too, to be honest. They might have been like, oh yeah, I support you, power one. But in reality, they did not fucking support you. Just keeping it real. Also, it's interesting is what you guys might not know at this moment is that you think you have one key to a door, but you have many keys, okay? There's a lot of doors that you have not unlocked yet, okay? There's a lot of doors that you need to unlock. There's a lot of other talents that you need to unlock. It's like once you unlock this bird, like once you un unlock like this one initial success, it's like there's a, like a, subsus well, <laughs> a subsequent success down the road for you. It's like, you know that, that saying, when one door closes, another door opens? In this case, when you unlocked and opened that door, many other doors opened for you, okay? So it's like you're not, <laughs> I keep saying this throughout my readings, it's like someone here that's watching my readings, you're not done yet, okay? You're not done yet, okay? Um, it's like, once you open that door, of opportunity other opportunities open up for you when you did that okay so it's like your enemies are kind of watching you like like oh okay i heard lucky stroke like you just have you i heard you just had one lucky night or you just had one lucky successful video you just have one lucky um uh, chance but what they don't realize is there there's a stable success ahead of you okay and everything has its ups and flows. So I don't know why your enemies thought that, you know, you, you know, a decline in viewers or a decline of uh, products or um, requested services means that you're not going to be successful. It just means you're just going through an ebb and flow. I mean, it's just part of business, right? And then when you, when you kind of have a decline, you just know that you just have to adjust your business and so you can increase your revenue, okay? Yeah, your enemies, like, oh, power one hides their talent all the fucking time. So it's weird, like, your enemies know that you're the shit, but I think your enemy knew that you didn't know that you were the shit, you know? I heard, but you're all grown up now. It's like you have spiritually matured, and now you see your gifts and talents. Your spirit is telling me that there's more unlocked talents for you here that you don't realize just yet, but you will. Also, you're, I heard you're getting more beautiful, okay? <laughs> like, extremely beautiful, okay? It's like you defy aging. It's like you still look young, but your soul is, like, mature now. So, basically, your enemy's thoughts is like, wow, Pot One is basically leveling up. And I never thought that they was going to fucking make it. Simple as that. They thought that you was always going to be in the cold, but what they don't realize, and you were quote unquote hidden in a cave and no one saw you. That was your time of a, like abundant growth. Okay, it was it was essential for you that process, that moment of being in a cave and being unseen and being underground. Like that was your moment to fucking grow and bust out the fucking shell and start showing these motherfuckers who the fuck you are. It's like you need to go. You need to have your shadow work first, or you need to get under the cave first. They might have joked at you, like, since you had to go into your cave and, and work on yourself, since you had to go underground and work on yourself, since you had to be quiet and be in the dark for a moment to be by yourself, what your enemies don't realize was that was a central moment that you needed in order to be successful moving down the road in your life. So, basically, your enemies like, I have mistaken. Um, power wants to never be fucking successful. Um, your enemy here, your, um, enemy's thoughts, this person, um, possibly gossip about your business or your endeavors, talking about it would never be fucking successful. This is more about business related or, um, support. Like, they said you was, you, like, people would never, people would never fucking support you, basically. basically. Because like they thought you, that you was never going to be supported. 
<laughs> what they don't know is it's the work that you did silently. Like you worked in silence. So the whole time your enemy was joking on you and shit, that you was never gonna be somebody, you were working on yourself to be a better version of yourself. You was always a somebody, man. You were always a somebody. If you wasn't, I don't think God would waste his time to put you on the earth. Like, <laughs> you know, like he chose you to be here for a reason, pal one. You know, you know what I mean? And it's like your enemy might have joked, like, okay, you have nothing to contribute to society, you have nothing to contribute to the community, you have nothing to contribute to YouTube, you have nothing to contribute to it's like they think that your work has nothing. It's like they think that your work had no fucking impact and no one would never ever fucking notice your work. Okay? I heard they possibly even done some things to you for people to never notice your work as well. So it's probably why they always watch you to see if what they've done has, has worked on your business or on your um, YouTube channel. But what I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands, like you're going to get a lot of fucking attention soon, I just heard. I heard, like, real quick, quote-unquote, like, real quick. That's what I heard. So you're going to have, like, a quick overnight success? Sounds about right. That's what I'm getting, to be honest. I heard a lot of people are going to fucking support you more than you fucking realize. You're thinking, like, okay, like, uh, not many people, like, fucking um, like tarot in my town, but you might realize that you're the goat of tarot in your town. You know what I mean? But, oh, well, I don't think people really care about people who can conjure up and do witchcraft. Or I don't think people care about if I if I, if I I build this new church and speak about God and also start talking about Buddha and shit in my church. I don't think anyone would care about that. And they say, you know, all the pews are fucking filled up because not only do they want to hear about God, but they want to hear about Buddha. Not only do they want to hear about Buddha, they want to hear about other... um. Like, spiritual goats, basically. <laughs> uh, spiritual masters, you know? So, it's like... Your enemies might have just thought you, you were going to be successful. So, this person might have evil eyes your business, low-key. They might have evil eyes your business or, or the work that you were trying to do. I heard even on your fucking beauty as well. Very interesting, Power One. All right, so these are the thoughts of your, your enemy, Power One. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, support your girl. Click like, okay, and subscribe. Join the family. It's awesome over here, so I want you to experience this awesomeness, okay, this awesome sauce. Uh -huh. Dip your chicken nugget in that awesome sauce. It tastes delicious, okay, but, but you're going to miss it if you don't click the subscribe button. Now, let me know what you think about this. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this video. Comment down below. I love hearing from every single one of you. Donations and um, the tip jar and my email is in the description box below. Bye. Hello, pal two. If you chose the two of wands card, um, excuse my laughter. It's just I immediately got hit with your messages before I even plus plus. Uh, wow. Press play on the camera. Okay. Um, I, I going, I'm going to be real with you. Um, what I heard was I'm going to expose this bitch. All right. So your enemy's thoughts is exposing you for something, exposing you for who you are, exposing you for what you've done, exposing you for what you have not done, whatever. They want to expose you. They want to plast you up against the wall and be like, look at this bitch, look at this person, look at look at them, look at them, look at them. They want they are basically plotting and planning or just saying like a lot of nasty things about you so people can basically look at you all fucked up. For the decisions that you make in your life, wow, <laughs> you know, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to expose this bitch. Okay, also, if you're a business owner and you sell products, someone might want to expose your products. I don't know why. Like, maybe because they didn't get their order or they're lying and saying that they didn't and they want exposed. It's some about products and like the argument that you that you and this person had about a paid service or products. Or this could be like your work. 
what you do for work. Like maybe this enemy could be like an employee or someone who has done business with you. They wanted to expose you. So their thoughts is like, I got I gotta have as many people to see Pow 2 in a very fucked up way as much as possible. Or this or Pow 2, this person can feel this about you. They someone is afraid that you that you are going to expose them, Pow 2. So Pow 2, if if you're not someone who's in a situation where someone wants to expose you, okay? It can be that your enemy thinks that you're going to expose them like you might know something about them that no one does, and they're afraid that you're going to ex expose them, okay, and tell everyone about what they did, who they are, or what they're doing, okay? It's not about exposure. Exposing the truth. Her tight lips. Tight lips. Like someone doesn't want to talk about it or they don't want the word to get out on the street. So it's either you telling people what they got going on or how to your enemy wants to tell people what you got going on or lie about what you got going on. I heard that haters going to hate and, and enemies are going to talk shit anyway. You know, like they're going to talk, you know. <laughs> It could be for what, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of sitting here meditating. There's a, a song playing in the background. What's that song? Girl, Girls Need Love. And I'm hearing uh, Drake's portion. And he's like, you don't call me like, you don't call me anymore like you should, basically. You don't call me like you should. So this person... This enemy, it could be like an ex-lover or ex-partner. You could be really close to this person where this person knows your personal information, your personal past, your traumas. Like, y'all used to kick it, like, kick it all the time and share each other's personal stories and shit. And now they're mad that you don't fuck with them no more like that. And now they want to expose you. That They want to now expose your secrets. And this person, you know, you feel like they used to be on your side. They, they used to be your best buddy, okay? And now we guys are not cool like that no more. And this person, well, well shit, well, since so Pow 2 ain't fuck with me like that, I'm about to tell them, I'm going to tell these people all their shit, all their drama, all this, da 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 okay? I'm going to tell everyone their shit, their problems, their ear wills, uh, their whatever the fuck. Pow 2, uh, this person might think that you, you have done something wrong here. Or you think this person have done something wrong? It's about exposure. Someone's afraid of being exposed or someone wants to expose something. It could also be something that you, it could also be something that you lack doing, okay? Hold on one moment, okay? Okay, I am back. Uh yeah, it's like Pal 2, it's like you you have a thing going on, Pal 2. You have a thing going on. It's like you, you, you're you on, I want to say autopilot, but it's like you got something big, huge going for yourself, okay? Like, you're really successful right now. And someone that you might have left behind in the process of being successful or something that maybe your spirits have urged you to do or leave behind or urged you to believe, okay? It's like, your success, right? Before you were successful, your spirits told you to leave this person behind. You knew you had to leave this person behind. And this person feels like, how fucking dare you leave me behind and you become successful? I'm going to fucking expose you for who you really are. The people that people see you as, you know, as a successful person, you're not really that person. You're this, you're that. So someone knows that you're in a spotlight or you're going to be in a spotlight and so it's basically trying to frame your character, basically. They don't know how to stay in their lane, by the way. They don't. They be, they still be in your fucking Kool-Aid, even though you, you guys don't really talk to this day, okay? Like, they might uh, try to say, like, oh, yeah, I used to fuck with Pal 2 and me. And Pal 2, we used to go together. So this person might 
say like they are related to you or they know you or they used to fuck you or be with you for clout, okay? It's like you hot now, you hype now, pal too. And they want to be hyped too along with you, but they can't because you left it behind. And it's like they know your past, okay? Your past mistakes, your past downfalls. And they want to expose you for it. But the thing is, pal, too, don't worry about that because everyone makes fucking mistakes, okay? Like, <laughs> and honestly, I heard disregard them, yeah. Like, a lot of people that is on the receiving end of this gossip, a lot of people going to fucking disregard them because they know that this person is unreliable and they lie too fucking much or talk too fucking much, okay? So right now, Paul, so you can have it all. And it's like, people want to be around that, right? But this person, this enemy, it's like, you're like, no, you can't be around this. <laughs> and someone feels some type of way and they want to expose you for it because they think that you're a bad person or something. This is, this is very strange. I have to say, because... Like, leave it alone. Like, this person just needs to live. <laughs> this person just needs to be okay that you guys just don't fuck with, fuck with each other anymore. And they should just, li like, live their own life. You know what I mean? Like, are they so fucking pressed about you? Like, live your fucking life, man. Like, I don't know. It's so caught up on what you're doing, what you got going on. Damn, it's like they sleep on themselves. They're, they're not doing nothing for themselves but being mad at you and shit and trying to bring you down. This shit's so fucking... I'm sorry. <laughs> well, move, move me along. I was about to go ham. It's weird. It's like they're mad because... This, this is what I'm also getting to. It's like they're mad that you guys don't fuck with each other anymore. But every time you try to contact them and talk to them like, hey, what's going on? Why are you spazzing out? Why are you, why are you basically keeping um, my name in your fucking mouth? And you gossip. Like, I'm trying I'm trying to understand you. Or I'm, I'm just trying to reason with you, trying to talk to you. And power to this person doesn't want to speak to you. But it's weird. They're mad because you're not speaking to them. But once they finally get your fucking attention and try to talk to them, they don't want to speak to you. It's kind of weird. Like, what the fuck? This person might just be doing this because they actually just want your fucking attention, to be honest. <laughs> it's like the only way they think that, you know, you, you, you're going to speak to them is if you hear something, you know, in the grapevine that they have been speaking about you. And you might call them like, hey, I've been hearing that you've been talking shit about me. What's up? I think you and this person used to be together or something. Like, this is weird. Like, you guys might have, like, had, like, I don't know, a relationship or something like this this used to be your boyfriend or your, your side piece <laughs> i heard for some of y'all there was just a side piece and they're and they're mad about it or you found out that you were a side piece and you left them and they're mad for it like how you gonna get mad at me like how you gonna get mad at pal too for leaving a relationship because they find out that they're not the main person and expose them for it. That makes... What the hell? I'm sorry, y'all. That makes no sense, yo. <gasps> that makes no fucking sense. You know? That, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> oh, shoot. Excuse me. Like, that makes no fucking sense. It could be coming from pile one, okay? Yeah, it's like they're waiting to hear from you. They're waiting to talk to you. But once you step up towards them and speak to them, they don't want to speak. They don't want to fucking talk. It's weird. It's like... It's like emotional manipulation on steroids, you know? <laughs> because they're doing it to get a rise out of you or... To manipulate your emotions in order to get your attention so you can speak to them. But once you do speak to them, they don't want to fucking talk to you. <laughs> Damn. 
basically emotional manipulation on fucking steroids. This person is belligerent, I just heard. Like, they might get drunk and start talking mad shit about you, okay? Or this could be like, they, they might do this when they're drunk, okay? They might not say shit when they're sober, but when they're drunk, they might start talking like, Pow 2 left me and Pow 2 did this and I'm mad at Pow. They might start doing that when, when they're drunk, okay? For sure. Yeah, I heard y'all used to have great sex or this person missed having great sex with you and they pissed off about that too. This is someone who's just mad that you don't fuck with them no more like that. That's all. Because you're minding your own fucking business and making big moves for your fucking self. That's it. You don't care about nothing else, man. Like you really don't. Like, legit, like, minding your own fucking business. I'm pulled to pull additional cards for you guys. I don't know why, but I'm just going to listen to my intuition and just pull some cards, okay? We got this deck and another deck. Yeah, it's financial material changes and fertility. Yeah, you guys are, like, manifesting so much, okay? But like, y'all used to be at the bottom with this person, and then, like, for some, like, you guys might have been put on game about manifestations and... And all that, and then you're trying to get more money for yourself. Also, um, what they could be thinking is that the way you make money is not right. Like, the way you make money is not uh, acceptable by God, if that makes sense. Like, they think the way you make money just ain't right. <laughs> so they might talk shit about, too. They might also talk shit about, like, how you make your money. Um, I'll, Okay, I didn't want to say this, but <laughs> shit, since it's out here. That's probably why Spirit want me to pull these out. This person's not right in the head, in the, in the La Cabeza. They're not right. They're not right in the head, yo. They have a short fuse, okay? They have, like, a fucking temper, too. Like, they, 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 they don't... They don't think before they speak, okay? This person doesn't think before they speak. They have a very impulsive, uh, verbal uh, way of speaking. It's like... They're impulsive on how they act, and they're impulsive on how they speak. Very impulsive. Very fast acting. They, they they do it now, and they think later, okay? This person thinks that you got them fucked up, okay? Like, I don't know. It's weird, but... It's like, do you have the mental capacity to even think that? Like, do you... It's like... I don't know. Hold on, let me get these cards that fall on the ground. Hold on for a second. Hey, the funny thing that I was hearing when I was getting the cards from the ground was unanswered calls. Like, they be calling you and shit. It's like, you think that you gave them plenty of chances to speak their fucking mind. You know what I mean? So now when they call, when they text, you don't fucking answer. Or it's like when they call or text or... And you don't answer, they do a lot of shit just to get your attention. Like they might actually start calling your friends. They might actually start cussing you out on your social media accounts. Uh, they might actually visit your YouTube channel, your TikTok, and start commenting below. Like this person will go the extra fucking mile to get your attention. But once you have, once they have your attention, you start saying like, "Hey, hey, what's up? What's up with you? Like, chill out." They don't speak. They don't talk. That's kind of fucking weird. Uh, what is this? What? Okay, why they like this, folks? Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, yo. Yes, because you, you're going through like a... How can I say this? It's like you're a master manifester. And like I said, a lot of people want to be around that, okay? Trust me, when you start manifesting like crazy, a lot of people, it don't, it don't matter if they're in their right mind or not, they want to be around that, okay? This person wants to be around your beauty, around your money, around your ability to fucking manifest. They want to benefit off that too. And you're not allowing that. And it's like you got them fucked up for it. You're like a, a, a empress, okay? You have like a very beautiful empress um, energy to you. Um, things just fucking come to you, okay? Like things legit like fucking just come to you. 
<laughs> All right, I'm not saying you don't have to work for it, but it's like once you do a little bit of work, like universe, like it's like with you guys, you have a really nice connection with the universe. It's like once you do a little bit of the work, universe tends to take care of it, you know, throughout the whole process. It's like you do a little bit, and then the universe takes care of the rest, basically. Okay, um. And that makes sense to you, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, you know, you put in the work, but you understand that universe loves to meet you halfway because you have such a great uh, relationship with the universe, all right? Especially your ancestors, your spiritual team, all that. But anyway, uh, pal, I just saw 12-12, by the way, on the clock. But by the way, um, pal, too, I love you guys so much. Thank you for uh, visiting um, this channel, watching this video. Support your girl by liking this video. Comment in below what you think. I really do appreciate hearing from every single one of you guys. Join the family over here. Okay, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, Pal 2. Uh, no, Pal 3. Sorry, Pal 3. If you chose the Four of Wands card, you all are having a good time. You ain't really trying to be on this bullshit with your enemies. You ain't trying to argue with no bitch. You ain't trying to, you know, like... Get caught up on a, on a mess, okay? You ain't about the messy energy. That's not you, okay? You <laughs> you focus on having fucking fun, okay? Um, You might have some negative Nancys as your enemies, pal three. Like you're having too much fun and you should take things more fucking seriously. Blase, blase, blase. Let's go. <laughs> You could be traveling a lot too, uh, pal, uh, three. Hold on. Ooh, I want to sneeze. Okay. They think you're ditzy, like you're stupid. Okay, your enemies, your enemies think you're dumb. Uh, your enemies think that, um, you can't think for yourself or... That you're easy to play with, like a fucking rubber chicken or some shit. Or you guys like to play dumb, but it doesn't mean that you're actually dumb, okay? So who's really dumb here? It's your fucking enemy for taking, for basically um, believing that you're fucking dumb. When in reality, you're very fucking smart, bright, vibrant, and you love to have fun. You know, I don't know why people think that really smart, intelligent people are boring. I don't know where that pre-assumption fucking came from. But it tells that people can be lit as hell, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get with it, babe. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, I'm trying to get with it, babe. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get with it, babe. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, you're on your hustle. you you also having fun, okay, while you're hustling out here, okay? And you hustle really well, really smart. It's like you have a lot of things um, <laughs> under your sleeve, okay? See, okay, it's weird, okay? This this is what I'm getting. Pal, pal, um, three, you might be someone who's really in touch with their inner child, all right? And people have these weird assumptions, like when you're really in touch with your inner child or you have like a childlike demeanor sometimes and you have to cut up, have fun, party and stuff. People have this weird assumption that you're dumb, you're stupid, or you can't, handle the world in a very serious manner you can i think you can definitely switch it up for being really lit um <laughs> being out in the streets uh cutting the fuck up shit why am i seeing someone uh rolling dice <laughs> yo why i'm seeing someone rolling dice on the side of someone's house why am i seeing someone rolling dice at someone's side of the house, okay? Someone is rolling dice in between someone's houses, okay? I said you could be out, out in the streets, cut up smoke, drinking, all that shit. And people think that you're not professional. People think that you can't handle business seriously. People think you're not business savvy, okay? Because you might have like a street uh, lifestyle about you, okay? Honestly, for real, for real, in order to be in the streets, you gotta be intelligent, man. You gotta have your book, your... You gotta have, like, your street smarts. And honestly, y'all, what people don't fucking realize is people who tend to have street smarts are also people who are book smart, okay? Let's, let's make that shit so clear. Like, a lot of people that I've met who's always out in the street hustling and shit, they be so fucking smart. Like, honestly, I feel like when they, if they ask go to fucking school and shit, they fucking have all fucking A's compared to people who ain't never know nothing about the fucking streets. That's just my fucking opinion, just to be fucking honest with you, okay? Like... 
I had some really smart, uh, intellectual um, conversations with drug dealers. Like, honestly, like, <laughs> I don't know why people think drug dealers ain't smart or some shit. You understand? <laughs> like, you got, honestly, you got to be, honestly, when you work the streets, you got to be smart. You have to. Or, or you're going to be caught the fuck up or like six feet under, to be honest. It takes a really smart person to be on top in the streets. You understand? So your enemies think you're fucking dumb for the lifestyle that you fucking have, okay? People have like, these fucking uh, stereotypes about African-Americans. You could be African-American here. About African-Americans who are in the streets, who hustle, who try to have like an entrepreneurship business, okay? They try to be more of an entrepreneur. And people might think that you're uneducated. People might think that you, you're stupid, you're fucking dumb. And people think they can fucking play you or one up on you, okay? Um, so your enemies saying that they can fucking play you. Your enemies are thinking like, if I approach Palfe, I can fucking play them like a fucking dummy, okay? Hmm. Yeah, so it's like, you can handle pressure so well, Pile 3. You know, you might have like a, um, a rest and bitch face. You might have like a, um, you could be like an Instagram influencer or something. It's like, some people think that really, um, attractive people are dumb or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a strange. You're, okay, so like your enemies think that you're fucking dumb, okay, because you look too cute, right? It's like people have these stereotypes of what really intelligent people look like or how they live their lives, okay? You just don't fit that stereotype. People tend to find out that you're not easy to play with when they actually approach you and start trying to run game on you. They, people tend to find out like, damn, like actually PAL 3 is way smarter than I fucking thought. PAL 3 is way more clever than I thought, Okay? Uh, honestly, I feel like Power 3, to be honest, I feel like you can run on game on folks, Power 3. People should not, um, uh, it's where people are, like, trying to see if they can run game on you. They need to worry about if you can run game on them, okay? <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, to be honest. The art of seduction. Yeah, you guys can't be... Suave and, and finesse. Okay, people, your enemies think they can finesse you out of something, take for you, steal for you, but you the you the finesse. You're the one who can you're the one who can actually fucking finesse. Okay. To the moon and back. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck that means. To the moon and back. I ain't really getting nothing out of that shit. So I'm about to fucking read it to be honest. It could be why I'm not getting nothing out of that card because my spirit wants me to read about it, okay? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Some of you guys might actually like Dr. Pepper. I'm, I'm listening to a song and they talking about Dr. Pepper. Anyway, but to the moon and back, desires, wishes, and longings. Look at this woman sitting on a swing shaped like a moon. She gazes longly into the distance as if she would like to be somewhere else. Although her skirt is made out of feathers, she stays seated and does not fly away. This card speaks about strong desires. Sometimes we crave what we don't have. Instead of taking action, we remain passive and let our dreams fall unknown. Let the powerful magic of the moon reveal any unpredictable desires. So I'm getting, I'm getting a couple of things. People think that you're a fucking lightweight, okay? That, you, that you're going to fucking blow away, blow away like a fucking feather and they just blow at you. They think that you're going to basically uh, fly away like a fucking feather. They think you're lightweight, featherweight, okay? But you're actually quite heavyweight. I heard you're a ch fucking champion, a champion heavyweight, especially in the spiritual realm, okay? You have a lot of, of a powerful spiritual weight and strength to you, okay? So people think you're fucking weak, so your enemies... Tend to fucking underestimate you, pal three. You tend to be underestimated a lot here. But it's something about you that, that you're really persuasive. And you're you're really clever at that. Okay? <laughs> and you, you got street smarts, and I also think you have book smarts too. 
Also, I heard you can stunt. You can look good. You can look you can look fly as hell. You know how to dress pow three. So they, at least they recognize that. They don't fucking underestimate that. They think they think that you can fucking dress real good, look real good, smell real good, talk real good. But they think you fucking stupid in the sense of like ro like romance. Like maybe they think they can fucking get with you and just take all all that you fucking have. But that's not the fucking case. It's like people tend to take okay, your enemies tend to like underestimate like your kindness for weakness, but you're not weak here. Okay. Also, what I'm getting here is like you you're you're like a dreamer, okay, pal three. You believe in miracles, okay? You believe in dreams that can become reality here. And sometimes people tend to underestimate a dreamer as a ditzy uh, person, okay, um, people tend to underestimate a dreamer as a, uh, uh, someone who doesn't have spiritual weight or, or just, people think that being a dreamer is weak, you know what I mean? Some people think that being a dreamer is fucking weak, and those are people who don't fucking believe in dreams, okay? And since you're a dreamer, people tend to underestimate you, but I feel like you have to be strong to dream, okay? You have to be a strong person to dare to dream, Okay, and apply that action to make that dream a fucking reality. That takes a strong person. You understand me? Especially when you might have some sort of opposition or setbacks. It takes a very strong, confident, and consistent person. All right, so these are the thoughts of your enemies. Spirits, anything else that I, I need to say before I go? Yeah, you don't care about these people. You're really just, like, you're focused. You're focused. You got a ton of vision. You don't see these people, man. You might know that these people, I heard you guys know. You guys know that these people are underestimating you and talking shit about you and shit. But you don't give a fuck. You just keep it pushing and, and, and remain fucking successful. Like, I'm uh, proud of you, proud, th uh, proud three. We're going to end this here. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. Remember to like this, um this video support your girl i really love every support that i have received thus far join the family by clicking that subscribe button and let me know what you think about this video below i love hearing from every single one of you guys see you guys later bye uh four this is you with the queen of wands i just realized man yo i just realized that every single card that came out was all wands holy shit okay never mind okay okay um Wow, okay. Um, Power 4, you might just had recently a, like an epiphany on how fucking beautiful you are and how like attractive you are and how magical you are. All right, this is what your enemy does not like. This is what your enemy does not like at all, okay? It's like the self-awareness and knowledge of self. It's like you love yourself. With your flaws and everything. I heard that your enemies can't use your flaws against you. This person might be someone who tends to point out in, like insecurities or imperfections at people. To make them feel um, sorry about themselves basically. And they're feeling some type of way because they can't do that to you no more. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> can't do that to you no more. It can't. Y'all, I'm hungry. I'm about to eat me something after this shit. I think about brunch. <laughs> Ooh, I love to eat, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you, so. Today's a good day, and I hope you guys are having a good day, too, by the way. Or a good night. Listen, keys on trees. It's like you're finding your inner beauty here. It's like you're becoming at peace and loving the own, like, you're really enjoying that you're the only person occupying a space, right? You're enjoying that you don't mind being alone, basically, here. You don't. Because when you're alone, you might be able to hear your spirits or feel your spirits or come up with nice ideals to have, like, epiphanies. You might be someone who gets downloads, like, spiritual downloads, okay? Someone who gets, like, spiritual light codes or light codes. 
Uh, you might be someone who um, gets spiritual messages out of nowhere. Like your spirits be talking to you and shit. So someone might be hating on your spiritual connection, to be honest. Like, not only do they hate on your spiritual connection, but they hate on your your connection to yourself. How connected you are with yourself. They don't like it. It fucks with their insecurities. So you make this person feel insecure. Honestly, they're going to ignore you, okay? It's like this, this person's thoughts is like, I'd rather... This could be like an ex enemy. Like this, this ex, like they lost, they lost. But this ex enemy, or this, this enemy is like I got to avoid power four at all costs because every time I see power four, it, it reminds me that I've lost. It reminds me that power power four is um doing better than me. Like this person is getting really insecure when they look at you because they feel like you look better than them. They feel like you make more money than them. They feel like you're you are more attractive and the opposite sex or the same sex uh finds you more appealing than them. Okay. They rather not even hear your voice. They rather not look at your photos on social media because it, it makes them feel insecure. This person fucking avoids you. They fucking kind of, I don't know, hide from you. Does that make sense? It's like you're growing more rapidly than ever. Like maybe you had like a slow glow up and now this glow up is like picking up and it's like this person might not be able to avoid you anymore. Like you might be on the fucking news or radio or... You're on TikTok all, all over the fucking place, and this person's trying to avoid you, though, because you kind of trigger their insecurities. It might even trigger, like, a reminder of what they've done to you. It makes them look bad at themselves and make them more secure, more insecure as well. So it's like, not only are they insecure because you look fucking beautiful and you're doing so much better now, but they're also fucking insecure of what they did to you. So it's like seeing you is like a reminder of what they've done to you. Okay. They could be in spiritual jail right now. I don't know what that means. However that means to you, okay? They feel like you isolated them from you. Like they, they feel like you pushed they feel like you pushed them away. Yeah. They feel like they feel like you are doing so much better without them. It makes them feel like th that uh, there was dead weight to you. I really feel like this person doesn't want to be your enemy no more. This person might want to be your fucking friend now or something or get back together with you. But I feel like for a while, like they might have been like, you might, you might have fallen, fallen out with this person and they became an enemy to you. But now they don't want that to happen no more. They, they actually want to uh, like uh, amend, okay? Amend the connection. Because you're doing so much better for yourself now. They might have judged you for, for whom you, you used to be. But you're way better of a person than they thought you were, okay? They might have, like, thought you done something wrong or they might have accused you for doing something wrong and they find out that you never did shit wrong. They It was just their fucking insecurities talking to them. Okay? They realize, like, they were offended by you because of their insecurities, okay? It wasn't what you did. It was just their fucking insecurities that were basically provoked because of who you were or what you were becoming. You trigger this person, okay? Without you even realizing you trigger this person. You trigger this person's insecurities. And they blamed you for it. And they're starting to fucking realize like shit, it was their whole insecurities all along. And now they want to come back and fucking amend that shit. It's like they're finally starting to have some sort of self-awareness that they didn't have before. It's like it's like your self-awareness is triggering their self-awareness, okay? 
And maybe when your self-awareness triggered their self-awareness, they, they just wasn't ready for it. And they blamed you for it, basically. It's like they're starting to fucking understand that it wasn't you. It wasn't you. You didn't do anything to them. It's just their fucking insecurities. So this person doesn't want to be an enemy anymore, I, I believe, based on what I'm seeing in the fucking cards. But you apply to you. If you feel like this person gonna hate you for life, then fuck, they hate you for life. I don't know. I don't know your life like that, pal. Four, unless you want to do a personal reading, you know. <laughs> and this is a general reading, you know. I think they're hiding from you because they they feel ashamed of, of themselves. I gotta be honest, they feel ashamed of themselves for what they did. This energy is so different from the other pals. This is so interesting. I have to be honest with you. This is very interesting. <laughs> I ain't never, I ain't never seen shit like this. It's like they, this person wants to come out. This person wants to come out of the dark. Okay, with you. Okay. It's like this person might have like stopped talking to you or blocked you or didn't want to communicate to you and all of a sudden they realize like shit I've been like overreacting. Like let me go let me go and, and see how Pal Four is doing. Like I wanna to talk to them now. Like I, I I know I gave them the fucking side treatment for months and I might have been an asshole to them for months and I see why Pal Four didn't wanna fuck with me because I was an asshole. Man, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what Pile Four is doing. So you might have this person randomly come and check up on you, like, "Hey, how you doing? How you been?" You're like, "What the fuck? I thought you didn't, you never want to talk to me ever again." The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This person really wants to make it right because they they do feel ashamed, like they feel like they were they was fucking overreacting the whole time, or they got it wrong. It's like they they saying they're saying that they got it wrong. I got it wrong. Or I misinterpret what Pile Four was saying, or you know what they you know I, I blew it out of proportion, or I realized now that Pile Four like meant well when they said this or did that, and I took offense anyway. Like this, someone's like they're they're um they're looking at the situation with a with a new pair of lenses. Okay, I just I just saw one zero zero one on the timer. So ten oh one. It's something about you that triggered something within them, and it, it, they just didn't take that triggering well, and they blamed you or reacted towards you in a negative way for it. You have a way of making people look at themselves, pile four, and not everyone likes that. All right, just keeping it real. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like how far you do this without even fucking realizing it. And you be wondering why, why this person be hating me? Why this person be snotty towards me for no fucking re reason? Well, it's because you trigger people's insecurities, pile four, without even realizing it, okay? It's because you you know you, it's like you know that you knowing that you're fucking beautiful triggers people who think that they're not beautiful, and sometimes they might kind of like attack you for that, basically. You're fucking confident, so it triggers people who are not confident, and they think that. They think that you think that you're better than them. And that's not the fucking case. You know? It's like someone's insecurities got triggered. And they became your enemy for it. For no fucking reason. And they're realizing like, damn, I overreacted. They're realizing this now. They are. Very interesting. Let me see. Let me see. Wow, Six of Cups. Yeah. This is a friendship card for me. Y'all, I feel like this person is like a soulmate or some weird shit. Like, you guys gonna know each other for life. Know each other for a really long time. Like, this could be like an old friend or a close family member. Or this person feels like blood to you, even though you guys are not related, okay? Uh, so, y'all might need to reintroduce each other. And so, you guys have to reintroduce each other. Wow. Like I said, it's... It's like you guys might have to reintroduce you. 
I think this person's having a hard time coming up and talking to you. It's like they might try to find the right words to say sorry. This person might be someone who doesn't like to say sorry, but they're trying to find out ways to say sorry without saying sorry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um... So they're, they're trying to, they're sitting down trying to articulate, okay? Because they don't want to miss out, okay? You're making big moves out here, power for it, and they don't want to miss out on that. They want to be able to witness that. They actually do fucking care for you. I think they just fucking misinterpret what you said and what you've done, and they got pissed off about it, and they started being an asshole because of it. But anyway, power for, power for it. The last thing that I'm going to say before I click off of this thing is that you, you, you guys might have to fucking um, reintroduce you guys to each other. Because, like, since you guys have been apart, you guys have changed, evolved. You guys are way too different people now. You're going to have to reintroduce... You, okay, Power 4 is going to have to reintroduce themselves to this person. And this person is going to have to fucking reintroduce themselves to Power 4, basically. Woo! It was kind of hard to get out, to be honest. Like, that with that portion of the message, message was really hard to get out, okay? I think this this person might feel embarrassed to, to even fucking talk to you and admit that they got it all wrong in the first place. So this person might have a fear of admitting that they, that they were fucking wrong, okay? <laughs> But anyway, pal, for I'm going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed this, this reading. Uh, support your girl by liking the video. Okay, and give you all this love. And I love for you to reciprocate that back. But just by just clicking the like button, okay? Uh, join the family. Subscribe, okay? Thank you for subscribing for those who have done so, so far prior to this video. And comment below what you think about this video. I love hearing from every single one of you guys. You guys have a wonderful, blessed, beautiful day, night, evening, early morning, wherever you are. <laughs> Bye.